Hello and welcome to Technically Explained. In this video, we are going to solve a problem related to angle modulation. So the problem states that an angle modulated signal with carrier frequency omega c is equal to 2 pi multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 it is described by the equation and the equation is given to you. So the question is asking determine the power of the modulated signal, find the frequency deviation, find the phase deviation and estimate the bandwidth of the of this angle modulated signal. So we are asked to find four quantity. Number one quantity is the power of the angle modulated signal. Now we know that the carrier amplitude is A and we know that the power is equal to A square divided by 2. So we have A is equal to 10 over here. So this will be 10 square divided by 2 which means 100 divided by 2 which means 50 units are 50 watt. Fine. So this is our first unknown quantity. The second unknown quantity is to find the frequency deviation. Now we know that the instantaneous frequency is given as omega i is equal to omega c plus delta blo. And we also know that instantaneous frequency is basically the derivative of the angle. So we have omega i is equal to t theta divided by t dt. And this is your angle. This portion inside the parenthesis is your angle. So we need to take derivative of this. So we are going to have omega i is equal to derivative of which thing of, of that is in the parenthesis that is omega ct plus 0 0.1 sine 2000 pi t. So we are going to take the derivative derivative of omega ct with respect to t is omega c and derivative of sine 2000 pi t is cosine 2000 pi t and again 2000 pi which will be multiply over here. So we are going to have 0 0.1 into 2000 pi and cosine 2000 pi t. This is equal to omega c. This is your 2000. So 0 0.1 multiplied by 2000 is 200 pi. So we have 200 pi cosine 2000 pi t. This is your instantaneous frequency omega i. Now the maximum carrier deviation del w that will be equal to 200 pi fine so the maximum carrier deviation that is del w which is this thing that will be equal to 200 pi fine so we have del w is equal to 200 pi now i can find del f from here i can say that del f is equal to del w divided by 2 pi and we have already found the del w which is 200 pi so we are going to have 200 pi divided by 2 pi and this comes out to be 100 hertz. So we have found out the frequency deviation del f that comes out to be 100 hertz. So the second unknown is now known. Now the third part is the phase deviation. So we have to find the phase deviation and we know that for the phase deviation this is my angle. So inside the parentheses I, I have the angle. The phase deviation is the maximum value of the angle inside the parenthesis and here the maximum value is 0 0.1. So I can say that the phase deviation that is my C part that is equal to 0 0.1. And if I want to uh, write the unit, so the unit is going to be radian. So we are going to have 0 0.1 radian. Now finally the D point we have to find the bandwidth. Now if you can see over here, if you can see in the equation, we have 0 0.1 sine 2000 pi t and the, single, the signal bandwidth is basically this thing 2000 pi. So if I am saying, if I am trying to find out the message signal bandwidth that will be 2000 pi divided by 2 pi. So this will come out to be 1000 hertz. Now we have found the frequency deviation that was 100 hertz. Now if we can look, look over here that del f divided by b which is basically 100 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0 0.1 which is less than 1. So we have del f divided by b very very less than 1. It means that this equation is of narrow bandwidth and for narrow bandwidth the bandwidth is equal to I am going to say narrow band fm 
or whatever is given to me in the equation that is del e m of t so i am going to write it as del e m of t fine so i am going to write it as del e m of t so this e m of t this will be equal to 2b where b is the bandwidth of the message signal we have found out that this is 1000 hertz so we have to multiply by 1000 that comes out to be 2000 hertz r to kilohertz so this is the bandwidth of this angle modulated signal which is 2 kilohertz thank you